Hey class, today's video is going to be on how to calculate molarity for our solutions chapter. Now first off, what is molarity? Molarity is how concentrated or how not so concentrated a certain solution is, meaning how high a level of solute that it has. So the question here says, a 350 milliliter sample of solution contains 21.5 grams of NaOH, or sodium hydroxide, what is its molarity? First off, we have to figure out what the formula for molarity is. And in this case, molarity is going to equal our moles of our solute over the liters of solution. So in order to calculate molarity, we have to have moles and we have to have liters. Do we have either one of those things? No. So first off, we're looking for molarity. And remember, big M is how we represent molarity. <clears throat> so we're looking for molarity. We're given 350 milliliters of a solution and 21.5 grams of NaOH. We don't have either one, moles or liters. We're close on liters though, because we have milliliters. So remember from class, to calculate liters from milliliters, you simply take the decimal point and move it three places to the left. So we have 0 0.35 liters after we change milliliters into liters. Grams to moles, a little bit more work. First off, you need your periodic table. We're going to go over here and calculate the molar mass for sodium hydroxide. We've got one sodium, and sodium's mass is 22.990. We've got one oxygen. Oxygen, as we all know, is 15.999, and one hydrogen, which is 1.008. When we add these three up, we get 39.997, and remember, that's grams per one mole. Now we have what we need to turn these grams into moles. First off, we're going to write what we have, grams of NaOH over one, draw your railroad. Moles is what we want, so we need grams to go away. So moles is going to go on the top. and 39.997 grams of NaOH goes on bottom. Next step, cancel out your grams, multiply straight across. So we get 21.5 divided by 39.997 plug that into our handy dandy iPhone later gives us a really long number of 0 0.537 54032 And that's moles. Now we have moles and we have liters, we can solve for molarity. So molarity equals this nasty number, 5375432 divided by 0.35 liters. 
and that gives us 1.53582947. We're always going to round molarity to one decimal place. Three doesn't do anything. Our final answer is 1.5 molar, meaning molarity. So first off, you have to find out what you're looking for, what you're given, and then if you're solving for molarity, make sure you have liters and moles. If not, change your milliliters to liters, change your grams to moles, solve the problem. Next up, we'll be looking at dilutions and how to calculate them.